Hi everyone and welcome to my next video tutorial which is going to be focused on integrating pagination within Django admin for our objects. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to set up our Django models, we're going to register them and then we're going to learn how we can add in pagination and also how we can configure this number to list a certain amount of objects per page. So let's go ahead and get started. Now the first thing that you want to do of course is you want to ensure that you have a Django project that you want to utilize. So of course I've got my project here all set up and ready to go. Now the next thing that we want to do is we want to go ahead and create a Django app. So what I'm going to do here is stop my server and I'm going to say Django dash admin start app and I'm just going to call this app here. Let's call this one listing. Okay, so there we go, I've created my app listing and now what I can do is I can see that here it is, my Django app listing here is in my directory. I then want to register this app in my list of installed apps. I'm going to go to my project settings.py file. Then here under installed apps here, what I'm going to do is I'm simply just going to go on ahead and add in that particular app that I created called listing. So I'm going to add that in just like that. So I just want to make sure that that is set up and into place. Perfect. So make sure you've registered your app. So once you've done that, of course, make sure you save and we can close this, close that. And we can go to our recently created app here called listing. Then we want to go to our models.py file and we want to create a Django model. So what I'm going to do here as a sample is I'm going to use a model here for an item. So as you can see here, the class for my model is item and I have two attributes slash fields for it. I have a name field for the name of my item and a description field for the description of my item. Now, of course, you can use your own model if you desire, but if you want to follow along this tutorial for continuity, you can just go ahead and create the model that I have set up here. So the class item name and description. So you can go ahead and set that up as follows. Now, once you've got your model set up and ready to go, you want to make the migrations and migrate it to your database. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open up my terminal and I'm just going to say python manage.py make migrations. And essentially that's going to allow us to create that model, which is item. And now we want to push that model to our database. So we can then say python manage.py migrate. There we go. So we've pushed that model listing, uh, that, that model item from the listing app to our database. So we'll be able to access it in Django admin as soon as we've registered it. Perfect. So now what we can do is we can go to our directory here and head on to the admin.py file in the same directory as our models.py file. So let's do that. So let's uh, drag this right here. And now we're just going to simply register our model the, the usual way for the time being. But before we can do that, we need to import this model here, which is item into the admin.py file. So what you can do is you can say from dot models. So from the dot models.py file, we want to import the model according to its class name, which of course is item as well. So we're just going to say item. Then you want to register that model. So we're going to use the admin module to do so. So you can say admin dot site dot register. And within parentheses, you want to put in the model that you want to register. So in our case, it's going to be item. Perfect. Now what we can do is we can create a super user and just observe our recently created model in the Django admin. So you can just say python manage.py and we need to first create that super user so that we can actually access the Django admin and log into it. So I'm just going to create a username here. So I'm just going to say honor 96 email skip, add in a password. And again, and then run my server. Okay, there we go. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to head on over to my admin page. And now what we can do is we can go ahead and sign in with our super user credentials now. Right, so as soon as you've entered in your super user credentials, you can log into the Django admin. 
After doing so, you can now see that we have our listing app and our item model here accordingly. So we can click on item, then we can say add item, which is uh, how we can proceed to create an item object. And you can see here the two fields, name and description, which correlates to the field slash attributes that we specified for item here in our models.py file. All right, perfect. So we've got that all set up and ready to go. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and create a few items, you could say, a few objects. But of course, I'm not going to do this all one by one in the video. I'm just going to show you how to do it once. And then I'm going to encourage you to go ahead and create a few objects so we can generate some data for pagination. So here we can go ahead and put in a name here for an item. So here I'm just going to say, uh, let's say orange juice description. And I'm just going to say here, um, uh, uh, orange, and I'm just going to leave it empty actually. Let's just leave that empty. The description, we can leave empty and save it. So here we have an item object here in place. Now, what we are going to want to do is we're going to want to add in several um, objects. Okay, so all you need to do is add an item and I'd recommend that you create um, at least 10, I would say, so that we can really test out the pagination process properly. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to pause the video for now and I'm going to go on, on ahead and create a few objects just to um, add in some data. Now, of course, um, after I've added that in, I'm going to continue with the video. So I'd recommend that you do the same. So let's go ahead and add in some items so we can stimulate some objects here in the item model. So let's go ahead and do just that. All right, so welcome back. So as you can see now, I have added in quite a lot of objects here. So item objects, I have 10. You can of course add in more, but we just want to have quite a bit to work with so that we can really test out this pagination. Right, so as soon as you've got some objects here set, we just want to set it to reveal the name. So all you want to do is here within your uh, model here, you just want to go ahead and indent and you want to add in a string function here that is going to return the name of each object. So by adding in self here, essentially this is going to refer to each um, object that is created to the instance of each object and then we want it to return uh, the instance of that particular object's name here according to the field that we have set here and this is going to be set as a string so as we can see now if you go back to the item here and you just rerun your server and refresh your page, we can now see that all of the values of my name is now being revealed. So here you can see, for example, the name field, it is returning the instance of that particular name according to the value that we have set here in the Django admin for these objects. So this just helps in readability. I'd recommend then that you just go ahead and add in the string function just to return the values of each object instances that is being displayed. All right, so make sure you've got that in place. Next, what we can do is we can go on ahead now and actually add in the pagination now. Now, as you can see here, as you scroll down, there's no option for pagination here. You need to add it in yourself. So we can see here, it just shows um, a whole list of objects here. And sometimes you just want to add in pagination to make this a bit clearer. So for the time being, we can remove the following line of code and we're going to create our own custom uh, model admin class. So to do so, we can say class and then you want to give your um, class a particular name here. So I'm going to call it item admin. So a custom item admin class, you could say. And in parentheses here, I want to pass through the admin model admin uh, class here so that we can customize it. After which, I want to put in a display here that is going to focus only on the name field here. You can also add it in for description if you desire. So I'm just going to say list underscore display. And within square brackets here in my list, should I say, I'm just going to put in name to display only the name, of course. And here is the important option that we want to put in. So the first option is list display. Then we can just say list underscore per underscore page. And here is where you're really sending the pagination. So here you can put in a number of how many objects you want to see per page on your item model that you can see here. So I'm going to, for the time being, just say four. Then I just want to register our item model 
and include everything that we've customized within this item uh, admin class. So to do so, you want to say admin.site.register and that's going to take in two parameters. The first, the name of your actual model, which is going to be item in our class, in our case, and then the name of the item admin class that we have here, which is called item admin. So we can say item admin. Then what you want to do is you just want to make sure that you restart your server and then you can navigate back, refresh this item model table here. And we can see now that it is now only showing, as we can see, four objects each time. Now, let's say you also want to see the description here as well. With that list display, you can just add in a uh, description, of course, which is pertaining here to this other field. So if you want to add that in as well, so that is the benefit of list display. So if uh, we were to just uh, refresh the page now, we can now see that you'll be able to see the description if you add it in a description as well. So it's a, li a little bit more clean, as you could say, uh, the benefit of list display. But the main thing we can see per page, we have four objects and you can see we have nice pagination here and we can go to page two to see the rest of the objects and to page three as well to see the final list of objects. You can also show all and that's going to show everything for you in one shot here. And if you want it to go back to pagination, you can just go and click back to your listing app, click on the item model again. And here you can see it's been indexed. Now you can set this for anything. So here we set it to four. Let's say you want to set it to, uh, let's say five. So you just want two pages evidently. You can of course save that. Uh, refresh your page. And now you can see it's showing two pages, five on each page, as we can see here. And of course you can revert to show all if you also desire. So that is it. That is the simplest way in which you can go ahead and add in pagination in Django admin to view your objects in Django admin. So remember this list underscore per page um, setting needs to be configured in this custom admin configuration class here that we have set up. So you would also add that in to make sure that you're able to um, go between various pages and see your objects in that form. Instead of seeing a whole list of them, you can of course separate them in various pages as you so desire. All right guys, so that's it for this video tutorial. Um, as always, thank you for the support and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.